What's up guys? It's Mallory. The other day I was thinking, what video should I film? And I realized that I haven't just like talked to you guys in the longest time, let alone do a tag video. So today I am doing the behind the scenes YouTube tag. I really like talking about YouTube and just like obviously doing YouTube as I'm doing right now. I really wanted to do this tag to kind of let you guys in on a little like behind the scenes because I've never done anything behind the scenes related on my channel yet so I wanted to do that today. This is also going to be a new series on my channel and I'm really excited about it. It is going to be called YouTube Time or something along those lines and it is basically going to be a bunch of like videos that relate to YouTube. So like this video relates to YouTube because it's a YouTube tag, you know? And I might do like my YouTube routine or something. If you guys want me to do that, then give this video a thumbs up because I might do it. Like it sounds kind of fun. So I might do that video for you guys. I'm just gonna get right on into the questions because I'm gonna ramble on a lot. I already know <laughs> because I haven't like talked like this to you guys in a long time. So yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> oh wait, before I forget, if you guys like this makeup look that I'm wearing today, then I actually have a video that is coming up that is a tutorial of this look, so stay tuned for that. So now I think we can get into the video. Let's, let's do it. Alright, so the first question is, what camera do you use? I use the Canon EOS Rebel T3i and I really like it and it's an amazing camera and I just, I love it. And I also just use like the kit lens, but I have another lens, I just haven't like used it yet. And also I have this little thing on my lens that is like a lens cover up and it kind of like changes the lighting a little bit to make it look better, so I also have that on my lens. And yeah, that's my camera. It's really great and I like how it has the flip out screen So like I'm like right here, but the lens is right here who films for you Well, it really depends like if I'm just doing a sit-down video like this and I film myself because I have my own tripod So it's just easier to film myself But if I'm doing like a lookbook or something where I want like moving shots Then it does look better when someone films for me so I will usually get my sister to film me or my parents because they are, you know, who can film me. They're the ones in my house, so I usually just ask them. But sometimes I will ask my friends to film me. And yeah, so that's who I get to film me. What editing system do you use? I am currently using iMovie, and I think it is amazing. I'm always finding new things that I can do on iMovie, so it never gets old, and I just really like it. I am saving up for Final Cut Pro, though. I feel like it will enhance my videos and like the quality of my videos and stuff. So I really want to get that, but currently I'm using iMovie and I love it. Do you use artificial or natural lighting? I use natural lighting because I feel like that is the best lighting. I don't have any artificial lights or anything like that, so yes, I do use my natural lighting. It's pretty cloudy right now and I feel like this lighting is pretty good. I'm looking at the viewfinder and it looks pretty good. So I usually just film with like the clouds or the sun or you know whatever is there for that day but I really like filming with natural lighting it just makes everything look better and I feel like artificial lighting can give you kind of like a yellow undertone sometimes I just don't think that looks as good as just like natural lighting so I use my natural lighting what is the top item on your filming wish list I'm not really sure what this question means like something that I can use when I'm filming or something that I want to film. So I'll just tell you guys both because, you know, why the heck not? So something that I really want to get to help me film is one of those, like, things that... I don't know what they're called. You put them on your camera and then you, like, move the camera around and it just, like, stabilizes it and makes it go smoother. I really want to get one of those. Even when other people are filming, sometimes they get, like, a little shaky. I just think it would be better if they can just use that and then just, like, make it smoother than what it would be without it. So that is what I want to get to help me film, but something that I really want to film is probably, I don't know, I have a lot of things that I want to film, but right now I'm really considering doing a summer morning routine because I've never done a morning routine before, which is crazy. So I think I'm gonna do that this summer. What is your favorite day of the week to film? For me, it really depends on the week. Like during the school year, I don't really like filming on weekdays because I usually have a sport after school, so I get like all gross and sweaty and then I come home and I'm like exhausted. So I don't like filming on weekdays during the school year, so I try to film on weekends. But during the summer, I like to film whenever I have time to. I really like filming on Saturdays. I just feel like Saturdays are a good day to film in the summer, but whatever works, that's what day I film on because I'm busy and whatever day's free, I film on it and I take advantage of that because it does not happen often 
for at all really so do you plan your videos if so how yes I do plan my videos I plan videos all the time I'm always thinking of like video ideas and what I could do because I just think it's fun and I just love like writing it all down and stuff I actually have over 150 video ideas just typed on my computer and I have some on my phone I have some like in my planner I have some everywhere I just whenever I think of one I just write it down so I don't forget it so yeah I do that and then once I figure out what videos I want to film I will usually write them down and then say like maybe if it's like a DIY I'll say what I need to buy and if it's like a morning routine I'll put like all the steps in order and stuff like that I'm actually filming three videos today and I plan them all out like yesterday I think or like two days ago I don't know I feel like it's easier just to film a lot in one day because you're already ready so you know it's just use that to your advantage right how long does it take you to film the average video well this depends on the video it varies like a lot <laughs> depending on the video so just a sit down video like this like a tag or maybe like a haul or something usually takes me depending on like how long the tag is or something like 20 to 30 minutes it really doesn't take me that long to film it if it's like a haul and I'm trying it on then it'll usually take me a little longer but if it's like a video like a DIY video or a fashion video then it takes me all day to film sometimes even multiple days I am such a perfectionist about my videos so I want it to be perfect so I have to get the greatest shots that I can so it takes me a long time but yeah it, it can take a while YouTube takes a long long time how many hours does it take you to edit the average video well just like filming it depends a sit down video like this takes maybe like two to three hours to edit because I, I really don't think it takes that long but videos like lookbooks or fashion videos or DIYs can take up to like a week to two weeks for me to edit because like I said I want it to be perfect so it takes me a long time and yeah that's just how it works favorite type of video to film well this is a hard one because I love filming all types of videos tags hauls lookbooks fashion videos or those like the same thing kind of uh, kind of I think my favorite would be fashion videos just because I love fashion I love clothing I love shoes jewelry all that kind of stuff more than like makeup and hair like you guys can tell I don't really do anything with my hair because I like it the way it is. It's just, you know, naturally curly. I really don't do a lot of hair and makeup-ish kind of stuff, even though I still do love it. So my favorite would have to be fashion just because I'm always buying clothes, always buying shoes. I'm always looking for like new ways to amp up my wardrobe, you know, so I just love filming fashion videos. Do people at school know about your channel? Yes, they do. I actually had to make two videos for like projects one in English well I didn't have to make a video for that one but I thought I would because you know why not one in English and then one in history and I showed it to the class and it was on my second channel so they do know about it and I get a lot of people that come up to me and tell me that they like my videos or something and I just think it's really cool so they do know about it pretty much everyone I know knows that I have a YouTube channel or at least like heard of it and some of them even watch my videos which is crazy so yeah um people know about it. What is your process of thinking of a video idea? Well, I have tons of ways to think of video ideas. One of them being I just look up other people's videos and kind of like use that as a base for mine and then add something different to it to make it my own. Or I would just do like popular videos that are going around like morning routine, night routine, hauls, that kind of stuff. Or I will just think of ones in the shower that's usually where I get most of my ideas is in the shower or if I see something that I think is really cool I'm like wow maybe I could recreate that and then I'll like make a DIY on that or something or if I found a really cool recipe I'll show you guys how to do that so it all comes from like a bunch of different places and all into my computer on the list that I make for my video ideas so yeah do you feel awkward filming around other people ie in public I don't feel awkward I used to feel awkward like when I first started out with YouTube and I would go out and like film people would like stare at me I mean they still do stare at me because it's not like a normal thing I don't really feel awkward anymore just because now I'm used to people staring at me I kind of like expect it in a way like I know like 
oh, oh my god, my foot hurts so bad. I know that if I film in public, say I'm like at the mall and I'm filming like an outfit or something, I know that people will stare at me and I'm like prepared for it. I'm just like, you know, whatever. It's gonna look good when I edit it and it's gonna look good when I post it. So I do it for you guys. I embarrass myself in public, all for you. Yes. Do you have a YouTube friend that you like to plan videos with? I actually don't. None of my friends really do YouTube, so I'm kind of on my own, but I'm okay with that. I really like making my videos, and I like people knowing me as, like, the girl who does YouTube stuff, or, you know, whatever, the YouTuber, you know. I don't know. I do have a cousin that makes videos, and her friend also makes videos, like, a lot, but my cousin doesn't really make them anymore. I don't know, but whatever. So I do have two people, one that makes videos a lot, and the one that kind of doesn't, but kind of does, like, you know. I don't know, but they live two hours away, so I really can't, like, plan videos with them. I mean, I could text them, but it's just easier for me to do it by myself. What is your subscriber goal by the end of the year? My subscriber goal is a thousand, and that seems like a lot to me, because, like, I know there's, like, YouTubers out there that have millions and millions of subscribers, but I have, I think, 150 right now, and I'm trying to get a thousand by the end of the year, and I've had my channel for like two years now yeah around two years and 150 subscribers feels like a lot to me because like it's 150 you guys watching me I think that would be really cool and just start to like grow my channel some more like it's slowly getting there and the last question is a question that is the last question of every single tag that I know and it is who do you want to do this tag next well I tag my cousin Amber and her friend Lauren so if you're watching this you better do it so yeah, you guys should both do it, and if you're watching this, then you know, why not you do it too, you know? It's a, it's a fun tag. I really liked this tag. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, and let me know what tag you want me to do next, or other videos, or something like that. And I think I'm gonna go now because my foot is falling asleep on me because I'm sitting in this weird position so I can get like the good lighting and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. I love you all so much so much and i will see you later bye what am i saying what am i saying and it's basically gonna be a bunch of video a bunch of videos yeah a bunch of videos and it's an amazing video app i don't know where i was going that ah oh my god uh. whoa hey guys You can hear it focusing. <laughs> Alright, I'm bye. I'm, I'm bye. I'm saying goodbye. Uh, bye.